Not on the agenda tonight, but a lawsuit against Chico Unified and its gender identity practices drew a crowd to tonight's school board meeting. Action News Now reporter Margot Rowe was at that meeting and shows us what happened. Not every kid seeking emotional support is a candidate for gender transition and suggesting that to a child, especially at an elementary level, is very unprofessional. Several parents and people of the community attended the Chico Unified School District board meeting to express concerns about the allegation the district faces in a lawsuit. In that lawsuit, Aurora Regino alleges the district facilitated the social transition of her 11-year-old daughter's gender identity without her knowledge. Later tonight, during agenda item number 11, when board members may propose items for a future agenda, I will be proposing a discussion of this subject area. So that going forward, parents will be able to rest assured that Chico Unified will not infringe on their sovereign right to direct the raising of their own children. Many who spoke expressed concerns of the parental secrecy policy that was mentioned in the lawsuit. And some parents said they had similar experiences with not being told what was going on with their children at school. Yes, there's controversy about whether it's actually a policy or not, but apparently no, not much controversy over the fact that it's happening. And there's enough families that have been impacted by it. One mom, Deanna Lindstrom, told me she had a file placed in the records of her children to prevent officials from talking to her kids alone without her permission and wanted to share her experience after learning about the details of the law. If, unless it's curriculum related, they they don't they can't do something without my permission or my presence. Um, and this lawsuit is the tip of the iceberg. I talked with several other people to hear what they hope the board will take away after the meeting. So I hope that the board will learn about this. It will be woken up a bit, you know, by uh, what's happened. Yeah, just just support more of that uh, momentum of more parental involvement with the school. I just hope that they will do their job of oversight, that they'll investigate, that they will look to see what the policy actually states, and then they will take another look at it legally and um, see what their options are. Many people I spoke with were in support of Aurora Regino and her case against the district. And the school board members are planning to have more conversations of the issues brought up by the gender identity lawsuit. In Chico, I'm Margot Rowe for Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Margot says she did try to speak to some board members tonight, but they went into closed session and did not want to speak on camera. Also, 